Hey guys and welcome to my introduction to CSS video. Now CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet and it basically describes what the HTML should looks like. So you can customize basically what each uh, HTML tags look like. Now over here we have just a normal doc type declaration. Uh, HTML tags, head tags, and then within the body tags we have two paragraph. If I see, if we look at it within the browser, we have two simple uh, paragraphs or text. This is a paragraph text, and this is a, another longer paragraph text. I like sushi. Okay, now I want to customize the way this text looks like, and if I use CSS, I can do it. Now to quickly customize, for example, uh, the p tag over here, we use an attribute called style. So let's write, give it one space, uh, style equals, and then double quotes, two double quotes. And within this style attribute, we are going to type how we, uh, how we want to customize this p tag. Say for example, I want to change the color of my this is a paragraph text text I say color blue there we go and let's save our work I just made a quick HTML document called test.html and let's double click that okay it's not working oh that is because I mistyped color it was color okay let's save that again and try it there we go the color of this text is now blue and this one hasn't changed that is because I have set the style color of this p tag to blue so anything within this p tag is now going to be blue color but because this text is different is wrapped around by a different p tag and this p tag doesn't have a style attribute it's still the same old black text. Now for this one, the second paragraph, this one, what if I want to move it a bit to the right so that it's not in on the same, uh, what do you call it, row if it's a table? Yeah, I want to move this text a bit to the right. Now we are going to talk about margins and paddings and all those uh, CSS words later on, but for now, let's give this p tag a style and double quotes. And inside this, I'm going to write margin left uh, 30 pixels. Now let's look at the structure of this of CSS. We have both style and then within the style attribute between the two double quotes we write the CSS now there's the CSS color and we have this colon I think it's a colon and after the colon we have the tech uh, the specific uh, word to how we're going to customize it technically this is called selector the p tag is called the selector and this is called a declaration and within the declaration this is the property and this is the value same goes with this one we have a property of margin left and we are giving it a value of 30 pixels so now this p tag will have a property of margin left and for how much is 30 pixels because we gave it a value of 30 and after every uh, decoration what we need is a semicolon to end it so if we want uh, another uh, CSS decoration we give it a uh, give it another space and let's change this color to green and there we go oh, there we go let's save our work and open our text.html now as you can see 
the second paragraph is now green because I stated the color to be green and because we gave it a margin left so only the left margin of 30 pixels this uh, paragraph has moved 30 pixels to the right because there's this space this bit space of 30 pixels that it moved now I will talk about more we'll talk more in details about uh, each of the margins the paddings and all the uh, details of CSS in my uh, CSS videos later on but this was a quick video to show you the not the I can't really say it's a power of CSS because all I changed was the color and the position of my second paragraph but anyway this was a quick tutorial on how to uh, to use CSS and in my next video because there are three ways of uh, adding CSS into our HTML document I will show you guys the three ways in how in which how I could add CSS if that's the right English okay thanks for watching and I'll see you later